fall in love with the person who enjoys your madness, not an idiot who forces you to be normal. As you can see here, we have um, Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell, and the other paedophile. Altogether, this was at uh, Beatrice's birthday party. Strange that, isn't it? It's like, it's odd how the royals always invite known and proven paedophiles to their parties. It's like they're all in the same gang. Because they are. We had photos of a dead Iranian general in moments after it's supposed to have happened. But still no video of Epstein committing suicide in his cell. Strange that, isn't it? It's almost like one's been prearranged and then the other was prearranged the other way. Hmm. And that's how you know when it's something dodgy. Whenever they have pictures quickly like that, you know it's already arranged. Did you know there is a flavour enhancement company called Senomix that puts aborted baby fetuses cells in their food and drinks? Want proof? Research HEK-293. Even at levels barely measurable, Roundup has been shown to promote the proliferation of cancer cells. Kellogg's sells Roundup absorbing GMOs to kids. Are we not boycotting Kellogg's yet? Documented deaths in German concentration camps as of January 1st, 1993. Total 296,081. That's adding all them figures up. Do you still think six million Jews died? Try thinking for yourself for a change. Just because they don't like your posts doesn't mean they don't see them. Keep planting seeds. Let's take a look below at the proposed smart city train line. And there's that in word smart when they use that you know it's they're planning something evil oh well, look it just so happens to follow the line of the fires that have been set in australia by the australian government strange that isn't it when we're done he'll claim kenyan citizenship as a way to escape yes osama bin laden no, of course not. It's Obama. One and the same, some would suggest. I've never met a strong person with an easy past. Remember, you've never walked in anyone's shoes but your own. No one knows your life like you do. Why are so many people really sad? Mother replies, because we're living in a fake environment with fake food, fake news and fake people and it's slowly poisoning our souls. Thieves caught red-handed by private police in busy shopping centre are being set free by the Met with only a warning. My local Bobby is used by used by shops and businesses around central London. The firm was established by 28-year-old former police officer Dave McLevy. He complained on social media about thieves being let off with warnings. He said his firm reported five incidents since April where the offender was freed. Criminals caught red-handed stealing from public are being allowed to walk free by police. A private policing company well, they're all private policing companies. The Mets, private police, Nottingham's private. They're, they're all private. They're for-profit corporations. So the, 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 to distinguish between one private company and another is stupidity. Areas in London have been allowed to walk free by Metropolitan Police officers rather than being arrested and charged. Staffed by my local Bobby, MLB, a private force used by shops, remember they're all private, and businesses for neighbourhood policing reported five incidents of the past two months where they have caught thieves only to see the suspect let go. Aliens exist and could be here on Earth, first British astronomer astronaut says. Aliens exist and it is possible they are here on Earth according to the first British astronaut to go into space, although it was a low 
Earth orbit, not out, actually into the uh, outer space. Speaking to the Observer magazine, Dr. Helen Sharman said, Aliens exist. There's no two ways about it. There are so many billions of stars out there in the universe that there must be all sorts of different forms of life. She added that, although they may not be made up of carbon and nitrogen like humans, that if you want to read the rest, the links are in the description. National shame. Unions slam fat cat wages as UK CEOs paid more than typical workers' annual salary for just 33 hours work. New figures showing senior executives in the UK's top 100 companies take just 33 hours to pocket more than the, a typical worker does in a whole year have been widely condemned by union bosses. The data released by the High Pay Centre think tank reveals that the average FTSE 100 chief executive is paid 117 times more than the median worker at 3.46 million a year by 5 p.m. British Standard Time on January 6th, uh, BST, whatever that is, six bosses of the UK biggest companies will have uh, hoovered up more than £29,559 annual salary earned by the median full-time employee. Australia is one of 47 countries globally that makes rain by cloud seeding, BBC. Why are they not using it to extinguish the fires? That's a good question, don't you think? Because we know that they can. Cloud seeding is a well-known tech and is employed all over the world, according to the BBC documentary. See video excerpt below, links in description. This is going on in 47 countries, including Australia, involving 150 programmes as we speak, says the commentary. See below, an application for used uh, form used in the st state of Texas to modify weather. Fake news. 60 Minutes shreds Epstein's suicide theory. 60 Minutes has revealed several new data points in the death of a wealthy paedophile, alleged death that should be, Jeffrey Epstein, which raise more questions than answers and suggest that the financier did not kill himself, an opinion the New York City Medical Examiner Officers stands firmly behind. The New York City Medical Examiner's Office ruled Epstein's death a suicide by hanging, but a forensic pathologist who observed the four-hour autopsy on behalf of Epstein's brother Mark tells 60 Minutes the evidence released so far points more to murder than suicide in his view. Dr Michael Baden's key reason, the unusual fractures he saw in Epstein's neck. Why we're, we've heard all sorts of theories about the impossibilities of the force required by the nearly six foot tall Epstein to successfully hang himself while breaking an unusual three bones in his neck usually seems in, or strangulations, that that's nowhere near the most peculiar part of Epstein's demise. On now, notwithstanding the old homeless guy switcheroo theory. Serious note here, if it's real. Staged Ebola pandemic being prepared for America, followed by mandatory Ebola vaccines using live strains. This was from the 4th of January 2020. An effort is underway right now to harvest Ebola infected subjects from African nations, then transport them to the US border and have them cross into the United States as human weapons who will unleash Ebola on US soil. This is part of the globalist effort to bring down the United States of America and cause chaos before the 2020 elections while subjecting all Americans to medical martial law that demands mandatory Ebola vaccines which just happen to contain live viruses to further spread the outbreak. This effort is fully funded by the UN linked organisations who have been running depopulation vaccine experiments on human subjects in Kenya as well as the criminal CDC which fu functions as nothing more than a malicious propaganda uh, front for the vaccine industry as the independent media have been exhaustively covering migrants from Ebola infected 
African nations are being deliberately deposited in major US cities, including Austin, Texas, where InfoWars reports that conducted numerous interviews to discover shocking details about Ebola risk in Texas. See video and African migrants swarm Texas. Last, uh, just last week, the fo a 41-year-old woman from the Democratic Republic of Congo illegally crossed the border while carrying Ebola. She was apparently apprehended by U.S. Border Patrol, then produced to vomit, uh, proceeded to vomit, and uh, eventually die from that. What was labelled acute kidney failure, the most common organ failure among those who have uh, infected with Ebola. The DRC is currently experiencing one of the largest Ebola outbreaks in history. Ebola can be carried by individuals who aren't killed yet killed by it, as the InfoWars article reports. CBP said the Congolese woman was vomiting and suffering from abdominal pain and renal replacement therapy. Is, th is therapy that replaces the normal blood filtering function of the kidneys. According to Reuters, people who survive Ebola virus infection face a dramatically higher risk of dying, probably from severe kidney damage, within a year of leaving hospital. So it's possible that the Congolese woman kidney damage can be as a result of Ebola infection she was ultimately cured of. But just two weeks ago, the first documented release relapse of an Ebola patient was recorded. In early December, Congolese health authorities reported that a survivor in Mabaloko, North Kivu province, has fallen ill with the virus again. Reuters reports preliminary tests that since classified it is as a re re relapse, the WHO said in a weekly report. What the purpose of the outbreak to demand all Americans are be injected with a deadly Ebola vaccine containing live Ebola viruses. It's all part of the coordinated CDC FDA PSYOP false flag operation that's being in, uh, ignited by sending human weapons into the USA to unleash Ebola and cause a pandemic. Chris Cave of Crystals. Giant crystal cave at Naka, Mexico. Wow. Interesting. Discovered by chance, the secret Mexican crystal cave is big enough to drive a car through. The Nyasa mine in the Mexican state of Chihuahua <laughs> is a working mine that is best known for its extraordinary selenite crystals. Located in Nasea, in the municipality of Sauxilla, the Nasi mine is a lead, zinc and silver mine operated by industrial Industrials Penoles, Mexico's largest lead lead producer. Caverns discovered during mining operations contain crystals of selenite, gypsum, as large as four feet, one point two meters in diameter, and fifty feet fifty meters long. Links in description if you want to read the rest of that one. They're going after the poor yet again. New rules at DWP to stop benefit claimants getting help from elected representatives. Underclass, if you're a benefit claimant, the DWP wants to prevent you getting help from the, your elected representatives. The Tories are trying hard to turn benefit claimants into an underclass. Now they are being forbidden from seeking advice from their elected representatives. New changes imposed by the Department of Work and Pensions require claimants who have approached political politicians for help with a benefit appeal to sign a waiver form explaining why they have done so, rather than going direct to the job centre. The changes are also requ require claimants to state exactly what they are discussed have discussed with their elected representative before information can be disclosed regarding an appeal. Panic over Dunblane massacre conspiracies theories as secret files released. Ministers fear a, a ban on sensitive information about the horror incident would fuel cover-up claims. Because, of course, it was covered up. Conspiracy theories about the Dunblane massacre were fuelled by a 100-year ban on the publication of sensitive information newly re released files have revealed. 
The Scottish Government papers show that ministers privately admitted this there was a strong public perception of a cover-up over the atrocity. Among the unproven theories were claims that a senior Labour figure had helped kill Thomas Hamilton keep his gun licence. It was also suggested that it was a mas- man- Masonic conspiracy to protect Hamilton. Minutes of the 2003 Cabinet meeting show the Labour-led executive were shaken by growing controversy over the, a century-long blackout of documents relating to the public inquiry into the massacre. Hamilton murdered 16 pupils and teachers Gwen Mayer at, at Dunblane Primary School on March 3rd, 1996. He injured 12 other children and two teachers before killing himself. Lord Cullen, who led the inquiry into the shooting, agreed that some information should be kept secret for 100 years to avoid co- it causing a distress to the child victims of the si- or, or their siblings. Bullshit. It was to cover up the truth. The Crown Office denied the information blackout was to protect the identities of public figures involved in the inquiry or controversy of Hamilton's access to firearms and his background working with children. But the the, the secrecy helped stoke conspiracy theories, or should we just say how it is, the conspiracies, including claims of an um, establishment cover-up of what really happened. And we all know something seriously dodgy happened there and it was definitely covered up. And we need to uncover and open all documents that have been covered by not just the Scottish government, but the British government, because they've got some dirty, deep secrets that they are tr- trying to protect themselves from. Cruel thug attacked human slave who was forced to sleep in duck pen on kitchen floor. Andrew Pepper admitted two court counts of two co- courts of actual bodily harm on five common assault after his victim suffered a broken wrist and ribs during an ordeal. A cruel thug who forced a human slave to sleep in duck pen in the kitchen floor was has been jailed. Andrew Pepper, 26, was caged for 27 months. <laughs> Ridiculous, 27 months. After admitting two counts of actual bodily harm and five counts of common assault at Nottingham Crown Court. Pepper took part in a campaign of cruelty against the woman who was kept as a slave by friends Gavin Pascoe and Vicky Jepson at a house in Aspley, Nottingham. The victim in her 20s was forced to sleep in the pen as the trio used threats of violence and to enslave her. If she didn't do as she was told, she would be soaked with cold water. One time she was attacked with a hockey stick. Couple jailed after the, they kept woman slave, forcing her to sleep in duck pen and uh, beating her daily. Metro. Totally stoked. England test joy. Thanks for my mega break. Hmm. Judge threatens Weinstein with prison. Why are they threatening him? He should be in jail. Not prison. Jail. Prison is on a ship. Passengers jailed for... Her mile high rom- rampage. So, somebody has sex in a plane and they get jailed. Whereas you can go around raping people and you get threatened with jail, prison, whichever you want. The Bo Joe No Show. Corbyn demands answers as elusive PM misses Commons QA on Iran crisis. Because they're stumping up the, for the World War Three. White out at the BAFTAs. Cyprus rape case, teen jets home. 60 seconds with Robert Robson Green. Is he still around? The scum. I'll never give up. Cyprus. Yeah, yeah. Harry and Meghan exclusive. We're off again. Back to Canada. Royal Rolf. Roll talks. It's great when you can just go on holiday whenever you want, isn't it? Oh, and you get paid for it. <laughs> Let's not forget that. Telegraph. EU warning over rights for citizens after Brexit. There is no Brexit, so stop trying to pull that bullshit. Brussels raises fears about UK watchdog as commission chief visit number 10 for talks. Woodford paid nine million by firm before collapse. Back on the royal B, no, on the royal holiday yet again. Mixed wards for mental health see 1,000 sex assaults. Exactly what they knew was going to happen. Iran says Britain is US partner in crime. I would agree with that. 
Ofsted attacks failure of 100 stuck schools. Teenager home from avoiding jail in Cyprus. Top is to pond scum and save the world. <coughs> Express. Trump's message of military might to Iran. They're just trying to push World War Three. If we don't stop them, they'll do it. 909 workers, victims of vile thugs. 200,000 frontline heroes attacked each year. Harry and Meghan back to work with a thank you. No, they're not. They're off on holiday again. The Guardian. Grin and beer it. The woman embracing hair loss. Hundreds of British troops on standby in Iran crisis. See, they're pushing World War Three, and you're just sitting by and letting them get away with it. Teenager freed. Britain accused of false rape claim heads back to UK. Victims sue over cancer linked to breast implants. Author of Prozac Nation dies aged 52. Bit young, isn't it? But never mind. The Times. Britain doubles number of Chinook helicopters at crisis zone. Hmm. PM's orders cabinet to axe swathe of projects. Predecessors costly plans no longer scare sacred cows. Mobile phones in class help learning top teacher claims. Don't talk shit. Daily fail. FA Cup betting deals slap in face to William. Match rights sold to betting giants. Fans watch games for free if they opt a open account. Tie-in makes mockery of FA President Prince's mental, mental health campaign launch. Home at last, the Cypress bird. I, death and fury in Iran. M mourners killed in a stampede as Tehran vows US nightmare. Long Bailey favourite to lead Labour. Breast cancer test hope. Genetic breakthrough, scientists discover 352 DNA errors that show risk of disease. Improved testing, prevention and treatment are expected to boost survival chances again. Get some cannabis oil or baking soda or there's so many natural cures. Incredible haul of newly discovered breast cancer genes hailed by researchers as key to new treatment. 450 institutes around the world collaborate. Saliva tests could be available in three years. 21 tips for help lose weight. Doctor, yeah. There's a new set of rules for journalist ministers. Katie Balls. I wonder if she's related to Ed Balls. Probably. Blue murder. Yeah. Uh, Australia's heroin. Comedian raises 21 million to aid wildfire relief. Why aren't they just using the... the cloud seeding to get it to rain and put the fires out because they want the fires burning it's working to a certain agenda coming home teenager yeah stokes yeah 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 crap crapping utter waste of paper bonkers but true danger mouse slip sleeps with the fishes mafia fears over cartoon italian accent ft Central banks low on ammunition to fight a recession, warns Carney. But everything is fine, they said. There was no recession. There's going to be no financial crash. Yeah, bullshit. Outgoing E of E chief fears liquidity trap. Ailing with EU financial rule not desired. Woodford and Partners shared 40 million in dividends about anger's trapped investors. Game Air quar Quad turns spotlight on city goodness. And finally, F the climate change, I found a boyfriend. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. London cab drivers answer to request for from a Muslim to turn off radio. You just got to love the Brits. A devout Arab Muslim entered a black cab in London. He curtly asked the cabbie to turn off the radio because, as decreed by his religious teachings, he must not listen to music because in the time of the Prophet there was no music, especially Western music, which is the music of the infidel. The cab driver politely switched off the radio, stopped the cab and opened the door. The Arab Muslim asked him, What are you doing? 
the cabby, cabby answered, In the time of the prophet, there were no taxis, so piss off and wait for a camel. <laughs>